Good evening, friends. All right, I'm going to try something different. That is obviously a piece of asparagus with a string tied on it. Um, I've seen similar things like this on Instagram. And even though I consider myself more of an impressionist, I'm going to try to paint that right next to it. I've got a nice light on it with a good shadow. So uh, just going to have some fun and see how closely I can reproduce that. You know, if you're watching this, I guess I posted it. So, you know, and I'm used to painting a background in to, and we might do that to help us out. We'll see. So we're just going to look at what we got here and see how we can do, you know. And I'm using dark, which to do my sketch, obviously. Oh, I'm just having some fun here. We'll see how it goes. I have to look how I'm going to try to look very close. I'm sh moving it around. This is sure a different way. Though I paint for my life all the time, I've never done anything like this. So. I'm shaking it around, as you can tell. I looked for just um, brown twine, but uh, I think this is okay. Okay, I can see. If we're going to reproduce that exactly, that needs to be closer. And again, I'm, I'm shaking it around, which I can't help. Tell me if you've ever done this kind of thing. I mean, this is sure different. You know, they talk about... Uh, sight size, I guess you heard of that. Someone might stand up by a, a, port, a person and paint next to them and paint their face exactly the size. This is kind of, this is definitely sight size. I mean, I don't know, I never did this before, so we shall see how it goes. I'm doing the shadow first. I debated what to do. I thought about a carrot too. You know, and I'm sketching the asparagus with the dark paint too. Could be a mistake, I don't know. Heck, I don't know if I've ever painted asparagus. I don't think so. And again, things are moving around. Hey, guess what I bought? Haven't taken out of the package yet, but I brought a brand new view catcher. Are you proud of me? That nasty, sticky one I have. Of course, how long you give me for? I've got paint all over this. It won't be long. I also bought a tube of vermilion. I think that's going to be a closer match. I told you I was trying to get away from CADS, and I think that might be a better substitute for my CAD Red Light than the previous things I've tried. Um, here's Cad Red Light. Here's Vermilion. Mm, it's a lot more yellow, isn't it? A lot orangier. But still, I don't know. We shall see. May not be any perfect substitute for it, you know. Get 
spring is actually Husband and I went up to Carrollton Park a couple of days. Oh, did we do that? When did we do that? Maybe that was yesterday. Um, it's south of Dayton, Ohio. Very nice. We had a great day. Um, we'd never been there. The idea of the park is to show the history of Dayton, Ohio. Um, and there's all kinds of, uh, there's a wonderful inside museum and then all kinds of old buildings outside, historic buildings. It was great. I mean, it was only, um, I think it's $12 as normal admission. Seniors was $10. We had lunch up there. Very impressed. It was very nice. Everything's so expensive nowadays to do, you know. That was very affordable. All right. I've got this as I look. It's a little higher, isn't it? All right, I'm cleaning my brush. I'm going to mix up some green. This is a, to my eye, it's a cooler green. We'll, we'll try, we'll just mix some uh, our coolest blue, which is ultramarine, with our coolest yellow, our lemon, and see what that looks like. It's too cool. I'm going to warm it up with some cad yellow medium. That's getting better. And I think I'll do like I usually do and try um, three values. I don't know. We'll just, again, I'm just having fun here. This is a inexpensive um, canvas panel that uh, you know, we're just playing around on. All right, we're going to work on this fair guess. Going after the the dark edge of it first, the dark side. That's too green, so let's warm it up a little bit. Too cool. Looks a little dark to me. It's different, you know. This I can tell you right off to have your subject right here versus over on the table. Matter of fact, rather than, you know, fight this color, let's wipe it off. But it's very different having it, you know, right, right here. The museum had this big collection of wonderful old antique toys. I uh, was trying to photograph some. I mean, I'd love to have them sitting in front of me to paint them. I don't, I don't know, but uh,
putting in some of these that I see. So again, I'm trying not to think about what I'm doing. I'm just trying to reproduce it. Went out and painted on Tuesday, painted in a beautiful garden and close to home here. That was nice. Painted uh, their little shed. It wasn't, you know, <clears throat> when you're in a backyard and there's a dozen of us there, you know, we don't can't obviously spread out too, too much, you know. But uh, I was hoping the homeowner might buy it. He uh, said to me early on he, when we were painting, I guess it was after lunch, he came by and said, <clears throat> yours is the best. And I said, thank you so much. And then after we critique and after critique, he, he still came up to me and said, I like yours the best. So I gave him one of my business cards, you know, I thought, okay, you know, I'll sell it to you. But uh, I haven't heard from him, so, you know, who knows what is, some people should think you probably should give it to him, you know. It's, yeah, it's a cute little painting. When I got there that morning, the sun was, uh, it had dappled light on the front of the building. So um, I right away got it sketched in and I painted that dappled light so I wouldn't lose it. You gotta either go after, you know, the dark or the light. Cause I'll tell you by, <clears throat> very quickly it changed and by lunchtime there was no light on the front of that building so but I got it because I it's the first thing I did I know I see a reflection right here and my asparagus may be very different than that one we'll see um, again there's a, a kind of wet looking reflection there that I see and there are some little See little tiny, can you see them from where you are? Little tiny uh, lights. It's too dark up there. Our one grandson's supposed to come by on Tuesday to visit. He's on his way. He's heading out west. He, uh, him and his girlfriend are going to be gone for two months. They're going uh, from here across the lower part of the country. Then they'll go up through California up into Oregon and cross the upper part of the country coming back. I said to him, She's a keeper. You're not going to find a lot of young women that would... And he doesn't have camper. They're living in his um, SUV. It's not even a van. They've got like a, a bunk in the back and they cook most of their meals. And I mean, I just don't think a lot of young women would be interested in doing that. He loves Colorado and I think eventually he's got two more years of college and I think eventually that's where he'll end up.
I'm, you know, I'm not used to being so meticulous about what I lay on. And if you're watching it, I guess it was, I felt it was okay. Again, I've said that before. It must have been all right to my eye if I posted it. You know, it's no contest here, so if it doesn't work out, doesn't work out, right? I'm standing back looking at it. I can see the difference in color. I can see that's more yellow. See the top of it, just a little, not not much. You know, and if I wasn't trying to replicate it, you know, I uh, I would be thinking more about value than I would be about color. But I just thought, let's just see. And I might want to paint around it. We'll see on what I want to do when I, you know. I've got a little bit more orange than I see there, but you know, I kind of like it, so. And again, it's kind of glowing there. Let's get our palette knife. I, more to my eye, because I'm over a little further than you, I'm seeing some little highlights. Got a dog commission in the works. I, he's been sending me all kinds of photos, and uh, I don't know if I can paint it online or not. It was kind of like he wanted me to pick the photo, but I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to be responsible for <laughs> It's like, you tell me which one you like. Because you might do it and they might be like, well, I didn't want that one. shadow. This is pretty cool. Can you see that? And I can see a little bit of light there. Now, am 
my shadow. Yep, you can see it looks a lot darker. So let's lighten it up. I'm usually not one to put white in my shadow, but um, we can cut into this too and make it so it's not quite so wide. Mine's definitely more purple. Okay, let me think about that. I mean, which that wouldn't normally matter to me, but... Um, I'm going to switch to uh, cobalt blue. I mailed off a painting today to a guy I went to school with years ago on Facebook. He allowed me to paint his dog. It was a cute beagle and I uh, I've carried it around to my shows for years, and, uh, and you know, I decided it was time to mail it to him, so. A friend of mine, Susan Carlin, who's a phenomenal portrait artist and painter, she painted my three grandsons years ago when they were little. She uh, asked my permission uh, for my blog, and she used it in her gallery, I think, for years to show a example of a triple portrait. And then she, she gave it to me a few years ago, mailed it to me. So I'm really honored to have it. So I figured it was time to give him his dog. Again, I can see the difference in my shadow and that shadow. You know, normally that wouldn't bother me. I'm trying to get a little Again, I'm using cobalt and white. I'm trying to trying to pull it more toward the real shadow. That shadow, you're, like, you're seeing through it, aren't you? It really feels that way. But I think my asparagus feels pretty good, doesn't it? The rope goes right through the shadow. Right about there. And actually, it's creating a very dark shadow right here to the celery, I mean asparagus. And I don't even know if you can see that. I'll put you in front of it really good before we leave. And then the shadow, let's get back into that lighter kind of blue color is about there and the rope runs right next to it right about there
this is kind of fun. You know, this feels uh, that's a little hard edge for a shadow. You know, and if I were painting up the background, we could really eh, clean it up. I swear, it's not bad, is it? I see, you know, again, my shadow feels, uh, this one's more translucent feeling than this one, but I don't think mine's bad. And I see it comes out here a little more than I have it. it's bad. I think we're going to call it. I think that was a fun exercise. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll hang a carrot up there, right? Now, if I was painting the background, like I can see um, light coming through here. You know, I would make sure you saw that. Let me see if we can... This is why it's nice to paint the background, you know, you can get that in. Because now I've made a mess, right? But well, let's do a little painting on the background maybe. What the heck? This is just for practice anyway. I'm going to try not to shake it all over the place. You can see I've got a little light coming down in there. And then this gives us the opportunity to clean that up. We'd want to keep that shadow soft. One advantage to being a watercolor or a pastel artist is you can cut your substrate and create your composition, you know, later. And I have heard of people, oil painters, cutting panels too. Same idea. They like like the top half and they cut them off. I've never done that, but they could. This didn't take long, so I thought it'd be fun to just go ahead and get some background color on it. See, I got a little shadow on this left, which is because I have an overhead light on it. That's what's creating the tiniest shadow on the left. Could have probably almost turned that off today, because it's still light out right now. It's okay, we're almost done. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just good.
enough. All right, I'm looking at it through the camera here. Let me move you just a little over. See the light there? I was trying to kind of put that in. So mine, I think mine feels 3D also. Um, again, I didn't nail the shadow color, and I could have kept on and tried and tried and tried. Mine's more opaque looking and a little more um, cool. Well, yes, yeah, so. But still, I think, it, again, if you weren't looking at this, I think that feels pretty three-dimensional. Okay, that was fun. Quick exercise, and thank you for joining me, and uh, like and subscribe. And I'll try to remember to put my website in the description box if you want to check out more of my work. Okay, join me next time. Watch for me. Good night.